Was it knee? Was it right knee? Yeah, it was my knee. Okay. So. Mari, how special is it to get a double double in your first real game in Rubber Lane? Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I didn't realize until halftime until one of the coaches told me I had nine rebounds. So I was like, at that point, I gotta, I gotta go for it. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was, it was great to do that. You know, just be able to crash the balls and you know my teammates find me on offense and love and stuff. So yeah, it was, uh, your crazy. reputation is as a great passer. But Brandon had five assists today. Yeah. What, what, what have you seen from him? I mean, that's something we know he's always been able to do. You know. He's been a great passer even throughout the whole summer, so that, that doesn't surprise none of us. Your vantage point, what, what is it like watching uh, Ortega and Mott and the havoc that those guys kind of cause out in front? Of yeah, I mean, you see teams don't really have that many layups. It's hard to get inside, especially since you go Lamont and Ortega on the perimeter that scores and have it. So it kind of makes everyone else's job easier, lets them be in the gap more and things like that. So just having them two just changes the whole dynamic of these. I'm sure you've been asked this multiple times tonight, but Mark Pope talked about your ability to run the floor, get the break started, and how it causes mismatches for the other teams. Just how important is that part of your game for this team when you can go ahead and start the break or start the ball up the floor and your ability to pass within that break as well? Yeah, I mean, we are, we're a fast-paced team. You know, we go fast point guards, Kerr and Lamont. They just push the ball every, any given moment. But if I get a rebound and go, the teams ain't really expecting me to go. And it's... It's easier to find a shooter's kick ahead. Someone's going to be ahead of me. I don't know that at any given moment. So just knowing that, that kind of gives me confidence to just push the ball right. So. Have you always had that kind of freedom to, um, to play in transition? Yeah, I would say so, especially at my old school, too. That's something I did a lot and something he noticed when he was recruiting me, too. So. When you were picking Kentucky, how much of a factor was that the, so much of the offense runs through the, the, the five man? Yeah, I think the Mark Pope offense is something that fits me perfectly, so that's something that really stood out. Yeah, that's, that's one of the reasons. Yeah. Amari, can you just talk about how physical you guys were tonight? Um, talking to you know, the right State coach, that was one of the main things that he pointed out was you guys obviously are a great shooting team, but he was surprised about how physical you were guys defensively, and that really slowed down their game plan. Yeah, I mean, that's just something we've always kind of, in practice, fouls don't get cold, so just, you know, playing through that and just, you know, being able to go out there and do it without fouling too. I don't think we fouled a lot tonight, but you know it helps us and it just shows that you know, we kind of stand our ground, play team defense, and it helps us. So. Going back to Otega, what so what have you seen out of him going back from going back to June to now, and, yeah. and maybe how his games evolved? Too? I mean, he's evolved most in, in his shooting. You know, him being able to go out there and knock down shots and be as aggressive as he is downhill is it's hard for anyone to stop in the country. So. I'm happy for him that he does that. It helps the team a lot, and it's something you know you're gonna see a lot in the rest of the season. Yeah, how difficult if, if he can hit threes at a high, take him at a high volume, and, and obviously hit him at a high rate. Yeah. What, what what can that do to open up the rest of his game? It seems like he does have that downhill. That's that's the thing. It just opens up everything. Uh, at that point, there's nothing I feel like he can't do if he can shoot, go downhill, and he's you know he causes havoc on defense. It's a complete all-around player. So we're happy for him, and you know he helps our team a lot. Mari, what was your review of Lamont's missed dunk? You missed the dunk? <laughs> I, I don't remember, to be honest, but yeah, I don't remember, to be honest. Thank you. Uh, Mari, could you just talk about, you know, how you play? You're a big man, but you pass like a guard. Could you just talk about that? And then, of course, other players have called you like a second guard, like Jackson Robson called you yeah. that previously. Um, that's just something I've always been wanting to do, you know, just find my shooters and just just kind of like the unselfishness, especially since how I played in the past and everything and how I grew up playing around. So I feel like that's always helped me and it's going to always help me at any level I play at. So did he study in for his game growing up to, you know, be a elite passing big man? Pardon? Uh, did he stu did he study in anybody's game growing oh, up? Um, I don't think I did really when it came to passing. I think I feel like it was just having fun and just you know, when I didn't take basketball in seriously, it's something I always played around with. So I feel like that's where I learned it from. I'm not sure if you've been asked this, but winning by 41 points, what, what does that mean, knowing that was Mark Pope's number when yeah, he played he told it? us after the game, it's kind of crazy that that happened, but, you know, we're happy for him, you know, his first win. He was out to us. So. Yeah, how cool is it to kind of experience that with him, knowing this is kind of a fresh start for him, and this is kind of a homecoming, if you will. Yeah, just like you said, the homecoming, how much it means to him, I feel like it just makes everything feel a lot more special. So, yeah. 